Okay, for calibration of the temperature controller, you've got uh, three things that you want to be able to do. Change the temperature up and down with the up and down arrows. Right? The red display is the actual temperature. The green display is the set point temperature. Also, you want to be able to tune the controller. So after you've got everything set, you want to tune the controller. So you're going to press the gray button one time, press the circle button one time, it shows AT off. You'll hit the green button until it shows AT1 and then hit the AT will start flashing. You're going to hit the gray button and if you notice the green display is going to be flashing. So it's going to be flashing uh, depending on how long it tunes could be 5 minutes, could be 20 minutes, could be 45 minutes. When it's done, the green display will go back to solid. means it's auto-tuned, it's ready to go. During the auto-tuning cycle, the temperature is going to fluctuate possibly plus or minus 30 degrees, so you're not going to be able to transfer during auto-tuning. Okay. Also, let me just turn the auto-tuning off here. Okay. Also, you want to be able to calibrate the temperature controller. Um, calibration is done by first measuring the temperature on the machine. So you're going to run a temperature strip through the machine. And if the temperature strip, excuse me, <clears throat> the temperature strip shows, let's say, 400. And the controller currently, as you can see, is showing 450. So the controller is off. 50 degrees. Okay, so we want to change the display on the temperature controller so that it matches what your uh, heat strip or your temperature probe shows. So you're going to press the gray button one time, the circle button one time, and then one more time. It shows you INS. Okay, so that stands for input shift. So we want to drop the display 50 degrees, and currently there's a minus 50 in there. So we want to go minus 50 more, right? So we'll go down to minus 100. Right? So we're going to go down to minus 100. Right? Okay. Then we'll hit the gray button again. And now the display is showing 400. So your temperature strip was showing 400. Now the display is showing 400. So the temperature controller is calibrated to the temperature strip. And usually when you do temperature strips, I like to do it three times. So I'll do it once, let it settle out, come back up to whatever temperature you've got it set for, run it 10, 15 minutes, and then run another temperature strip through it. If the temperature's good, then you're all set, ready to go. Um, remember, when the machine is new, you need to do this I say usually once a week uh, because as the machine is new, the temperature signal is going through a commutator. Okay, the rings on the commutator and the brushes are going to wear in a bit, so the signal is going to change a little bit, you know, over the first month or a couple of months. After, you know, the first couple of months, you can go to checking the temperature uh, once a month, but it's, it's up to you how often you check the temperature. Um, display on the controller. Some people do it once a week, some people do it never. Uh, it's better if you do it more than never. Um, it, it shouldn't, it won't fluctuate eventually, but you know, it's always good to check, make sure that it's not fluctuating. And that's it.